Hello, Chair, Vice Chair, and Commissioners. This is Annie Jensen. I'm a Project Manager in the City Manager's Office. I would like to present the update on status and accomplishments of current Measure O projects. This item is a status update on all currently active Measure O projects. This report includes both their financial status and project accomplishments made in 2023. This item may look very familiar. We present a project status update every January to keep the committee and the public informed on what has been accomplished over the last year and where the projects currently stand. Our recommendation is that the committee receive and file the report on status and update and accomplishments of currently active Measure O projects. There are three kinds of Measure O projects. The first is one-time funded projects. These projects receive one allocation of money. Any remaining funds at the end of the project are reabsorbed back into Measure O. These are often capital projects such as alleyway repair. There are currently 21 one-time funded projects. The second kind of project is ongoing operational. These are projects that operate regularly in perpetuity, such as the Preschool to You program. These are projects that we want to continue providing on a routine basis. There are currently 22 of them. The third type of project is ongoing debt service. These are projects that were completed in prior years, but the bond debt they incurred is still being paid off by Measure O. An example of an ongoing debt service project is the ongoing lease payment for Fire Station 8. The active debt service projects listed in the staff report all include the date that the bond debt matures. There are currently five ongoing debt service projects. All 48 projects are listed individually in the staff report, and you can review them to learn the status of all the different projects. In the interest of time, I won't discuss all 48, but I would like to draw your attention to a few in particular that made great strides in 2023. Recreation Services is a project that has performed really well as we get farther away from the pandemic and increasingly resume in-person services. The funding for this program totals 85,735 annually and supports after-school program fixed costs for 10 local schools. Last year, the program served over 1,000 children. In 2023, this rose to over 1,400 children. Oxnard After School had a similar rise in the number of children served. The program has an annual budget of 107,673 and also supports after-school programs for 20 local schools. This program served over 1,589 children in 2022. In 2023, this rose to over 2,200 children. The ITS Annual Maintenance Project has an annual budget of 35,121 and improves signal timing and performs equipment replacement at needed locations to help maintain the 165 signal locations in the city. In 2023, the project responded to 138 requests received through the Oxnard 311 system, a noticeable increase from the 99 requests responded to in 2022. The IT Equipment Refresh and Upgrades project spent down the majority of its one-time budget in 2023, purchasing PCs, servers, and storage devices for obsolete and vulnerable equipment. This project was a huge step in improving the functionality of the city's IT systems and increasing the city's cybersecurity. This is a newer project with the fire department for personal protective equipment, already ordered and expected to arrive this spring. Projects like this for physical items and materials can span several months between the ordering process, the receiving of the item, and receiving final invoicing from the vendor. If the project or item goes to bid before purchase, that adds an additional few months onto project delivery. We can see the invoicing delay in these four projects as well. These four projects were completed by the Public Works Department. The three roof replacements are done and on the buildings and the portable stormwater pump has already been received by the city in time for any upcoming winter storms. Once the final invoices are received by the city and processed, these four projects can be closed out. There were two projects that were weaned from Measure O in 2023, Enhanced Community Policing and the Homeless Program. Operational costs for both were moved to the general fund. This is a combined total of 5,168,968 that is now supported by the general fund instead of Measure O. That 5 million includes the cost for 16 full-time staff members. 
staff removed one project from Measure O in 2023. That's the debt service project for Station 8 bonds for 2014. This project was created to make early payments on the Station 8 bond debt project in addition to the regular payment schedule, allowing for savings on interest. However, recent litigation preventing the city from bonding for projects has frozen this project. It remains open in the city's financial system, but it will not be acted or reported on until litigation is resolved and it can potentially resume. This concludes staff's presentation. Thank you for your time. I will be at the January 25th meeting as well as the project managers for each department. These are our subject matter experts who will be able to address any questions that you may have about the project. We look forward to discussing the projects further and answering any questions you may have at the meeting. Thank you. Goodbye.